More employers ask their employees to return to the office post-pandemic. Many tri-state families are struggling to find child care. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo joining us live with what city leaders are doing in hopes to find some sort of a solution here. Taylor? Yeah, Craig, City Council member Mark Jeffries tells me for some families it's a lack of options near their home and for other families it's a lack of quality care that they can actually afford. Now there's an effort by City Council members to create a child care task force that would help to address some of these challenges. Tina Kidd, director of Tender Tots Daycare in Walnut Hills, says she's glad city leaders are taking action because this is a real issue. We have a lot of families that struggle, single parents that have to work and can't afford private pay daycare. Kidd says the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services offers vouchers to help eligible parents pay for child care costs while they work. She says it's becoming increasingly difficult for families to meet the requirements for that families that have had to pull because they couldn't get the vouchers anymore and they couldn't afford to privately pay for care. City Council is aiming to create a task force to analyze some of those challenges and try to come up with solutions. Former council member Liz Keating will be leading the child care task force. I talked to her about this before she left council. I mean, I, I think it's a natural fit. Uh, for her, it's something that not only, I mean, I always believe where you have talent and passion meet is a good thing. She has talent and passion uh, for this issue. What Kid says she hopes this task force will be able to help parents with. Funding really is the main thing to help the parents. Um, the ones that struggle need the care for their kids. She says it's critical for parents to have a place they can afford, but also a place they can trust. It's worth, it. it's worth that, that struggle because it's so important to families to have high quality centers. They know that their kids are safe well taken care of and that they're learning and ready to start school. The task force is still in the very early stages, but Council Member Jeffries says he's optimistic this could have a huge impact on tri-state families. We're is, okay. I know we have several rec centers where we do provide child care, others where we could potentially provide more child care. And so the assets are there to potentially leverage. And I think as you bring the right people together, uh, I'm confident that we'll will come out with some solutions that'll really help uh, families. Taylor Demo, WCPO 9 News.